Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, I've been promising that I would start doing content for some other games, uh, just basically try out new games and see if they're any good. So, this is my new series where I basically just try out something and, you know, if it's good, I think I definitely will want to stick with it. Um, I, I don't really think it's a series. It's basically, like, if something new comes out, I'm going to go in, I'm going to try it and see if, uh, see if it's a good game. That's, that's pretty much it. So, this is... Lineage Red Knights. Um, it's a game that came out like two hours ago. Uh, <laughs> it's a game that came out two hours ago. Seriously, this is a game that j literally just came out like two hours ago. And if you're wondering, this is my overlay for streaming. Like, I basically use this only for streaming. It's not my Monster Super League one. Um, I don't really have an overlay made for for my like testing out new games, you know, overlay. Um, but you know, if if a game is something that I want to want to want to uh, keep making content for, I'll definitely make an overlay specifically for that game. Please don't freak out, like, I'm not quitting Monster Super League, like, I'm still, literally, I just made a video, like, a few hours ago. How many hours ago was it? Like, two hours ago? I, I made a video two hours ago for <laughs> Monster Super League, and I'm, like, I've, I'm continuing uh, Monster Super League, I'm still gonna be, be playing and, and stuff. Um, but, you know, I, I do want to try and make content for various games on the side as well. So, I'm not sure if this game's gonna be good. If it's good, then I guess I'll stick with it. If it's not, then I guess I can just still find something else. Um, Alright, so I finished the the beginner quest, like the, the beginner introduction quest to understand a little bit more about the game. I mean, people like to do it for a first look video, but this is my first look video, so, you know, I don't... I don't uh, I'm not part of the system, alright? I'm not part of the damn system. Anyways, I'm gonna be taking a look at all the features of this this game, because I have, like, I actually have no clue. Like, um, we can do some battles, and then I can go through the maps, and maybe, like, you know, I can do, like, some, some summonings as well. Um, let's, let's actually start the battles. Actually, wait, no, no, this isn't battle. We need to go to world. Let's actually play through the, play through the, uh, you know, maybe play through the first map and try to get to the boss or something like that. This map is actually quite long compared to a lot of the other games um, that I that I play. Like, actually, wait, I don't play that many games, but but still. Err, uh, what does what is sweep? All right, so I'm like really really new. Uh, I mean, I basically play through the tu tutorial and that's it. I mean, maybe I shouldn't have played through the t tutorial first. But whatever, you know, I, I got impatient. I got impatient. Um, and I wanted to know a little bit more about the game before I actually talked anything about it. So the com combat system for the game is pretty straightforward. If you've played any game like Summoner's War or Monster Super League, like which I guess 90% of the people watching are, are from. Um, what is this shit? Still gauge. Skill gauge. Please select a blessing. Let, Alright, let's take damage. Alright, let's take damage. Oh, that was a pretty cool system. Alright, so I have it on full auto, uh, which means that they're going to be using their skills and everything. And I can, I can only turn it to two times. I can't turn it to uh, three times in this game. But I guess two times is already pretty fast. So yeah, this is pretty straightforward. It's basically you play through the maps, uh, you know, same as every other game, right? Like, I don't think this is anything new to anyone. Real skills. Can I skip through this? Wait, there's- I'm still in the tutorial? Are you guys kidding me? Oh, you can level up your hero skills? Dude, I wish I could get some of the other heroes. I like this one. I like the mage one. I- I really like the mage one. Alright, you guys- you guys know what I was trying to do. Uh, Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna... What, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I was gonna level up some skills. Alright, let's level up, uh, sword. Clash. I don't know how much I want to level up this hero. I don't know if I need to use different heroes or if I can just main one hero. Um, but the thing about this game is there's there's a hero system and then there's also like um, units, like pets. They call it pets. But I guess it's like units. Basically other units that can that can uh, do battle alongside your hero. So it's kind of like team building, monster collecting, same type of game. I don't know if you guys like the art style, I kind of like it, like it's it's very very similar to Dragon's Nest. Um, I guess it's made by the same company, but it's, you know, it's, it's it looks like Dragon's Nest, and I fucking love Dragon's Nest. Um, what do we got? 
Oh yeah, we, we have some quests. Alright, so I'm gonna be looking through this system. Actually wait, I think I can I can do one more battle as well. Um let's let's actually do like halfway through the story, I guess. Before I start looking at systems and stuff. Um I think it's pretty straightforward. It's basically I think you can have a front line and a back line. Oh wait, 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 no, it's not frontline and backline, it's basically just heroes and tanks. Oh yeah, you, you can, you can have frontlines and backlines in this. So basically you can have like your healers and ranged DPS in the backline, and your tanks and stuff in the frontline. Um, I mean, like that's, that's actually pretty nice, not a lot of um, the other games I played had this, so that's, that's actually pretty fun. Um, the, the battle system I think is pretty unique as well. Like if I if I turn off the auto, it's actually uh, pretty unique. Like if I turn off the battle system, battle system for auto, basically what they do is they auto, and then whenever a skill is up, you can choose to use it or you can choose to not use it. So they basically have like a special skill. This is kind of like similar to like an SP bar or something like that. Um, and then if you click it, they use it. If you if you keep the fight on auto, then they will use their skill whenever it's charged up. So I guess this is, this is like a special skill, and then he has like an ultimate skill if the fight actually does um, drag on for long enough. And then, you know, over here is your, your hero, your hero has two skills, and then your other units have one skill. Um, it's simple enough, but it's, at the same time, it's, uh, it's, it's a little bit different, you know. So, that's a little bit about the battle. Um, I haven't take I haven't taken a look at the uh, other things. Like I haven't really taken a look at the other things yet. There's uh there's a summoning thing. So I guess oh you get four free summons every day. Yeah I, I did a free summon. I thought I felt I think I need to do this with a quest. And then this is um this is like I guess this is like the premium type of summon. And then this is like the the free type of summon. Basically you get to do it for free. Um. And then times ten is. 2,700 crystals. So about... Wait, tap the fragment. Okay, so I got a potion. Use this potion to gain 70 EXP. I guess that's not too bad. It's... I mean, it's always useful to level up faster in the game. Um, I'm not sure how much, like, diamonds actually are worth. Actually, wait, to to know how much diamonds are worth, I think I should go look at the, the, the cash shop. Um... Is it shop or package? Package, right? It's definitely package. Okay, so let me let me. Or uh, what's the standard package? All right, so this is like the the one-time package. Um, nine hundred NT dollars is about. I'm living in Taiwan, by the way, so this is like in NT dollars. Um, nine hundred NT dollars is about thirty US. Oh, thirty US is thirty US for nine thousand diamonds. Uh, plus 500 here for first purchase. Um, you get it for thirty dollars. Wait, let me think. 900, 950. So you can basically do three, three of the 11 times summons. Um, if I was to compare that to Monster Super League, then I don't know. Actually, wait, wait. I need to look at the actual package. This is this is not. It's not fair to look at this. Um, yeah, this is like ten thousand for for three thousand NT dollars, which is about nine ninety US do dollars, which is about the same price as the most expensive pack in Monster Super League, which is about uh, which gives you like like three summons as well. Actually, well, no, it gives you four summons. So with ten thousand diamonds, I get about I get a guaranteed four star monster. I get all this weird weird random random shit. I guess it's not that important. Um, and I get a bonus. Wait, let me think about this. So that's that's about ninety dollars for ninety dollars for ten k diamonds, and then that equals to three summonings, right? No, I can almost do four summonings with that if you include the first time purchase bonus. It's like three, or we'll just say it's like three and a half summonings, which is, um, which might be a little bit more expensive, I would say. 
if you if I compare it to Monster Super League, but I, I get guaranteed a four star. But then the, it gives us gives me a legendary egg, which is guaranteed four star as well. Um, I don't know. I think I think it's not fair to compare it like that because there's not actually that many four stars in the game. Um, there's there's like mostly three stars right now. Like I don't think I think the only I'm not sure if you can summon four star versions of them, but a lot of these are like just three star monsters. Um, and I think they maybe they didn't they didn't put in the four star monsters yet. Wait, I can do another free summon. Come on, give me give me something I can use. All right, I guess EXP potion is is actually something I can use. Um, all right, actually I I need to play a little bit more in the game before I actually understand, um, you know, if the game is actually pay to win or anything like that. I get an armor set. I get another armor set. Are these like cos cosmetic items? 5,000 diamonds. I think the good thing about this game is there's so many packs. Like there's so many weird random shit that you can choose from, you know? That you can actually choose from if you decide to go pay to, pay to play. Um, but yeah, I think only time will tell if the game is is pay to win or if the game is balanced um, for free to play as well. Also another thing I think um, is important for these types of games is some way for the player to continuously non-stop. So either with the, with the through events and stuff um, or through some sort of method where it allows you to continuously farm. I think that's something that a lot of players enjoy like that play these types of games. They want to be able to continuously farm non-stop. All right, I rambled on too long. Time for a warm up. We need to go fuck people up. All right, we need to go fuck people up. We're going all the way, all right? We're going all the way to the boss. Now, when am I when am I going to get more heroes? They actually no dubbed it. Scum. I think the dub is actually pretty good. It's pretty decent. This is a pretty cool system as well. It gives you um, bonuses af after you get through the stage, so you, you can kind of choose which one you want. I always choose damage because I, like, why not? I mean, everybody can use damage, right? I think these three monsters that they gave me are basically for free. Like, basically everybody gets them. Guaranteed. Hmm. Dang, that was a lot of damage. I don't know how easy it is to get the currency, the, the premium currency in the game to do summons. Alright, that, that energy bonus is getting a little bit insane. Goat thing. Hey, not a lot of games have this. Like an actual cinematic inside the game. Not a lot of these types of games. I mean, it's not like super high quality, but it's like... It looks like Dragon S, man. It looks like freaking Dragon S. Dude, how many of you have played Dragon S? I fucking love Dragon S. This is the boss, right? Oh, that's definitely the boss. All right, so I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck him up. I'm gonna fuck him up real hard. Sword class. I'm just thinking of how easy it would be to to auto on this on, in this game. Like obviously there's no times twenty auto, but um. But a lot of games don't, alright? A lot of games don't have times 20 auto. Slowly scum. Sword class. Call lightning. You can't stop me. 
Alright, alright. I learned a new passive skill, nice. It's awesome. I think I'm almost there. I'm pretty close. Oh wait, I should check out the shop. I didn't check out the shop just now. Okay, I'm gonna kill this boss and we're gonna check out the shop, alright? Maybe after I kill the boss, I'll be able to do, do summons and shit. Maybe. I don't know if they're gonna give me anything. Lowly scum. Sword class! Hmm. I'm actually getting wrecked. Lowly scum. I wonder what happens if my hero dies. I guess in the next stage he probably respawns. Oh, this is ulti. Oh shit. Dude, I fucking love the animations. Dude, this looks so much better than, than anything I played. Dude, I fucking love the animations of this. Oh, by the way, I'm I'm playing on a new player that um a new emulator for for Android on on the computer. It's uh, called Ko Player. I decided to try it out because I I want to have like be able to have like a lot of windows open because I you know I'm literally farming on uh, <laughs> Monster Super League on the side at the same time. So I want to be able to be run a lot of things at the same time. I think this is pretty smooth. Like this this emulator is called Ko Player. It's it's pretty smooth. I think the the game definitely has like a lot higher budget because it's made by NCSoft. NCSoft has like made a shit ton of games already. Pretty, pretty big company in Korea. Oh, dude! Holy shit! Dude, I fucking love that. Blade Storm. I don't I always like games that have a lot more strategy. I think this this game definitely does have a lot of strategy, I think. With like the different uh front lines and stuff. Like front line and back line. Lowly scum. And then you having a hero that has like more abilities. I wonder what PvP is like. There, there seems to be a pretty big emphasis on guilds, cause like guild is already um, in the first patch. And during when they first like started, um, started introducing this game, there was like a, they, they were like trying to push a guild system and stuff. I basically, I was looking for some game like a week ago and I actually saw an ad on Facebook. And that's why I was able to. Uh, that's, that's how I, I was how I was able to find this game, but I think it that definitely does look weird. Oh shit, I might die. Oh dude, holy shit, dude! I f dude, the animations are so fucking. They're so sweet. Holy shit. I, I wish we can. Ha I like. I I hope in the future. I not I wish, but I I like hope in the future that we can have more um more heroes and shit. So I can be like unique and shit. Not just everybody with the same uh same hero. Sword class! Lowly scum. Call lightning! Oh yeah, definitely when I get to uh get to a higher level, I should start a guild. And then like if you guys want to play this game, you guys can come join my guild. We can make our own guild, alright? We can make our own guild. I'll show you what true power is. Yeah, I'll show you what actually wait, I'm not sure if I can beat this guy. This guy looks really strong. <laughs> oh shit, I think I'm getting wrecked. Slowly scum. Oh, can you focus ads? No you can't. They they do whatever they want on, on auto. Oh shit. Nice, nice. 
Poof. That last fight was actually closer than this one. I pick up the staff. And what happens? Oh, I lost my memory. Okay, I get it. I get it. Hey, I'm starting to think this is a pretty good game. I'm seriously starting to think this is a pretty good game. What are these treasure chests? What does this actually mean? Oh, I can claim rewards. I can claim extra rewards for first time clear, I think. I can get gear and stuff. Oh yeah, the cool thing about this game is there's gear for your, um, for your, your heroes. Oh dude, let's go do some pull- actually wait, no, I don't have enough. I'm probably gonna have to clear another map before I can do some pulls. Holy shit, but wait, let me, let me, let's, let's do another map and let's do some pulls. I definitely want to do some pulls. Wait, I have something in my mail. Please be more crystals. Oh, what is this stuff? Oh yeah, I, I signed up a day before it came out, so I get some free shit. Actually, wait, this is so much shit. Alright, let's let's do some polls. Let's just fucking do it. Let's do some polls. I'm not sure if I should grab anything, if, if any of this is gonna like max out or anything like that. I wonder what this is. Guild token. Buy items from the guild shop. Oh nice! Oh dude, we should totally start a guild right now. Holy shit, alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna go start a guild and in the next next video I'll tell you guys what my guild name is. I'm gonna make make our make our own guild. Dude, I I might I might actually start playing this like on the side. Make make it my secondary game. Victory for justice! Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Let's do some polls, man. Let's do let's do this. Come on. I don't know if this is worth, but fuck it. But fuck it. Oh wait, I got this dragon thing. That looks pretty good. I got two knights. Tap the statue. Oh, these are only pieces. I don't understand. I can evolve them? Oh, I can summon two of those. Wait, are they f are these five stars or level five? Oh, they're... I don't think they're five stars, they're probably like three stars or two stars. Oh no, it's five pieces. Okay, it's, I thought it was like five stars. Oh, silly me. So, what do I do with whatever I just got? Look into my eyes. Okay, so this is a two star. Do not I can summon this one as well, he's a two star. This one's a two star. Deep in the dark. I don't. Oh, this guy's a five star. I mean, this guy's a three star. But I only. I don't have enough pieces to summon him. I need. I need more. I need like twenty pieces. Please show mercy to your humble. <laughs> this is a drop. Embrace your death. Baphomet is mine. This one's a three star too. But I need more pieces for this. Oh, I have a succubus too. And I have her who's a three star. But I don't. I don't have a. I don't have any anything to summon them with. I think like three stars the three stars the rarest, right? What a look at item location. Oh no, I have to summon them. Alright, never mind, never mind. So I guess you kinda have to work for your monsters. You can't really just get them. So I can get this guy. I can like this is a this is a tank I can summon already. He's a two star, he should be pretty good. Look, poor Kurtz! Alright, let's summon him. Let's summon him. Do not. No one escapes. Okay, can I can I like upgrade him? With the pieces misses. I got. Yeah, transmune, right? Oh, dude, you can. There's like upgrading, upgrading for monsters and then evolving. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to. Let's do this. And then when you level them up, oh, when you when you increase their stars, they they level up. Poor this is cursed. so sweet. Holy shit! I'm so I'm like I'm like actually hyped. Um, it did say something it's about I can level this guy up. Somehow. Your magic. Yeah, I used five pieces. I used five stones in order to evolve him. So you basically, in order to um, increase their rarity, you use pieces of that My monster. Spear never misses. So I don't have any stones of him. I thought I summoned a lot, a lot of stones from him just now. Oh no, I I summoned two, two uh, ten pieces or two five pieces. That's why I got ten pieces. That's why I can summon him. And then you can transmute in order to. Uh, I guess this is like, this is similar to like evolution. Well, not evolution, but like you know, um, you know, making your monster stronger in stats. But this one's like the one that actually increases their level. Interesting. All right, so I think that's a pretty good first look. Um, I did decide to look at the. Sh I, I haven't looked at the shop yet. I guess we can look at the shop as as the last little thing for this video. Um, so you can definitely buy pieces. You can buy pieces using using your crystals. I think this might be. It could be more worth it. I'm not sure um, in the future to like buy pieces. This way you're guaranteed. But at the same time, you can you can summon as well. Um, No guild shop. I do have some guild tokens, so I can definitely. Um, after doing that, wait, what the fuck? I thought, where, where, what happened to my guild tokens? Please don't tell me they disappeared. I'll be very tilted. <laughs> and this is the PVP shop. Companions. Oh, this is this is pay to win shit. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, companions. These things give you. You basically, if you have them, they give you like bonus stuff while playing. I don't know. I'm I'm not sure what to think about this though. I'm not. I'm really not sure what to think about this because this could mean that like pay to play players or even players that even pay a little bit will have like a significant advantage over players that are like completely free to play because there's no way for you to buy this without without uh without actually using real money like although it only costs three dollars it literally only costs three dollars i think it's mostly for the extra bonus like i mean like these are diamonds but like um it's it's mainly for the bonus right because like I imagine like late game you'd probably be farming a lot, so you probably need like the bonuses in order to to maximize efficiency. I mean, 10% is actually a lot. Like 10% extra gold. Ardana is probably gold, right? And then EXP probably will make you level a lot faster as well. I'm not too sure what to think about it, but um, I'm gonna stick around a bit and and just play around and see like what how good this game is. At the same time, I'm gonna be Gonna be uh, making content for Monster Super League as well, so don't, don't, please don't freak out. Um, but yeah, that's my first look at Lineage Red Knights. And if you guys uh, like th think the game looks good, definitely join me. And there's only one server, I think, so we can we can come and play together. And that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace out.